<clears throat> Welcome. I am No Sages, and this is Bloodborne. Let's get up into this woods. So we have pretty much cleared out the whole entire game, and now we find ourselves in the Forbidden Woods. There's a house right there that was locked. The bonfire is back over there. The lamp, pardon me. And now we see some very sketchy pieces of wood right here. So, hey, look, a trap. Be very careful. There is a trap. I have 24 bullets. Careful of the fires. Careful of the fires. What the fuck is that doesn't send them into a visceral? Um, did you like how skillful it was when I jumped on this guy over here? I didn't say anything because I wasn't even astonished myself how awesome I was. So yes, you can come down here and then there's a ton of guys and you'll be like, oh my god, there's so many guys, and then the one guy throws the one guy throws oil on you and then most of these dudes have fire, so you want to be pretty careful. That's why going up is preferable. The only thing about going up is you gotta be brave against that first beastie man creature now I want to say you can go even further and there is a face spider um, oops, I fell. right there stop it So you can't attack with L1. I never do it, but it builds up a kind of a hidden transform meter, beast meter or something. It, it makes you, it gives you a little more power. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I just said it, so. <laughs> um, all right, so we finished that little area. You gotta be, when you start seeing the red light, things will, we can see a beast up there, but up here, God, there's a horse on fire. There is a fall. See this wooden floor? If you touch that, you will fall. We don't want to fall. I'm going to go this way. Look at these pretty flowers. I love this. This is such a creepy area. Everything's on fire. Nonsense. And then, hey, look. There's a little bit of flowers. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Um, 
somewhere else there's another trap. It's right there. Can we see it in the sky? Is that it right there? I must clear. It got one of them. It got one of them. Please, God! I wonder, can that hit you? If you, okay, if you touch it while it's on the ground, it can't really hit you. <laughs> okay, so, um, this little villagey area. Has a lot of guys in it. I actually just did the thing where I sat up instead of being nice and slouched back. You can use a cocktail. I wonder if that's... There's... I think it's just for beast. It's not for everybody else. Blood vials. Okay. And I don't think... I can't really go in this house. Oh, can I roll up there? Oh, I can. Whoa. Um... Hey! Came up behind you, sir. Anybody in here? Be very, very careful when you go in the houses. There's usually people waiting to ambush you. I know somewhere there is a scary, scary bag man. I want to be careful and not get totally lost. A lot of beast put but <laughs> a lot of those gumballs every time I see him I think of it's always sunny when Charlie was like he got D to make him the the protein bars I would take flour and I would take chocolate and I would take uh, whatever and mix it all up and I would live off those balls or whatever <laughs> so yeah that's what I think of sorry um, if you notice there's two guys there, but look how wooden that floor is right there in the middle. We want to be pretty careful. What was that? Scary noises in my own house. Was that the cat? Jupiter? Jupiter? I have a black cat named Jupiter. I trip over him all the time because he is black. And <laughs> I can hardly ever see if he's laying on like a floor mat or even like a pile of shoes. What am I walking on a pile of shoes for, dummy? It's your own fault. Um, okay, uh, we kind of cleared out this whole little area. Now, I want to say, don't fall down there. This right here is where we would have fallen if we hit that, we would have fallen here and instead of being able to kind of do what we did, come on the back side, we would have been like, oh my god, there's so many guys here. And then you try to run out, and the whole the whole thing is um, falling into this pit. And I don't... Oh, it's a bunch of crows down there. I don't... Ah... Uh... I'm fairly certain there's a way out of it, but I don't want to go into it just yet. We'll do that last. There's also... 
somewhere a shortcut. Alright, I, I have to check out this noise because I'm scaring my own self. Pause does not work. Are you messing with stuff? You took the damn bug. <laughs> Alright. Be brave. Here's a door right here. Does not open from the side. So at least we know a shortcut is abound. Um, not a bad little shortcut. Not the best in this whole area, but still. Um, I don't necessarily want to go down here just yet. We did miss a area. I'm not sure where that leads to, so let's just wait a second. Um, if we didn't go into this gate right here and we went up the hill... Because what did I do? I like rolled right there. Excuse me, this is a place that we haven't been in this little gully. Excuse me again. I think I get real burpy when I talk a lot. Maybe I should shut up. Um, here's a door. Oh. I'm doing Plus I'm drinking beer, so what of it? Glory be. You know not the value you possess. But more's the pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beasts more than I can count. A veritable hunt, unending. Not even death offers solace. And the blood imbibes you. A most frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Oh yeah? Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> Is that how you get that? Holy God, what if you never find this guy? Huh. I wonder, my, mm, my word, the tonsil stone. Okay, so the giant staircase to the church where you fight Vicar Amelia. We went to the left to come to these... Oh, we went to the left to fight the witches. When we went to the right, and there was the two hunters that we fought, and then all the big guys, and then the wandering madnesses, and then we went into a room, and something grabbed us and killed us. We went back there twice. If you have this thing on you, it doesn't kill you. It opens the door for you. And you can go into a whole area. But I don't remember you getting it from just this dude. Not even death offers solace. And the blood imbibes you. Wow. Seek you the ancient shrouded church. The shrouded church, yeah. The it said he said God head. And it's called a tonsil stone. And I bet you it's a key item. A latticed, deformed rock, or perhaps a meteorite, appears useless but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul once said, step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. So, I wonder why it's called Godhead. Dun dun dun. We'll find out soon enough. I'll let you know. Alright. Dogs, hurry up. Dogs, hurry up. Dogs, hurry up. Alright, dogs, 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 dogs. Because there are dogs in this area. There's some dogs in this house. A crow. Miss. Oh my gosh. Missed like four times. I thought there was some dogs walking about. Oh, yep. I don't like 
big dogs in real life for video games. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a conundrum to do right here because when I first ever played this game, I found a secret. I knew you were gonna go first. I knew you were gonna jump first. White church hat, white church garb. Hmm, did we find our new thing for this area? Is it better? I guess this wasn't the area I was thinking it was. The poison is a little better. But the defense sucks. Hmm. Attire of a special church doctors. These doctors are superiors to the black preventative hunters and specialized in experimental black back blood ministered in the scourge of the beast they believe that medicine is not a means of treatment but rather method for research and that some knowledge can only be attained by exposing oneself to sickness all right we'll change into that in another area it's not as good as what we have on i don't think um was there just robes up here can we jump to another area Oh, that dude shuts that gate. If you jump down, he... Okay. I, I kind of get... This is a little confusing of an area. Um, let's clear it out, and then we'll talk about the conundrum that I was speaking of. Yeah, that guy right there. He'll lock that gate for some reason. I guess because it's a gate. Yeah, this thing right here, he'll shut it on you. Uh, not that it's that important. <sighs> Blue elixir. I think this makes you invisible. Dubious liquid medicine that uses strains experiments conducted by the high ministers of the healing church, a type of anesthetic that numbs the brain. Hunters able to retain consciousness by force or will make use of secondary effect of the medicine which dilutes their presence while standing still. Oh, so if you're standing still, they can't see you. Uh, is that worth it? I guess if you wanted to come up here, he would shut the gate and you'd have to go around the back side where all the dogs are. I did miss, I think, going into this house. Here's another horse that's on fire. And we have one more special enemy that we all know and love. Before we fight him, let's just go ahead and um, jump down into this little gulch. Is it a gulch or a gully? Is it a Gulliver's Travel? Try to roll into these houses just because you never know who's gonna be in here. Obviously had nothing. This is the house I think you stand on to get the robes. I mean, there's no way that I'm sorry about the camera. I'm moving the camera real fast, sorry. come this way. Do I know at all what I'm doing? Obviously not. Uh, I don't. Okay. No mistake. Okay, so if we go up here, right, the clear way to go is this way and around. However, there is a hidden path back here that I found on my first ever time. If we go this way now, we can get to Ofseska's clinic from the very beginning of the game when you wake up and the werewolf was there. Remember, the original girl that was there was like, please don't come here, haha, -ha, you're a hunter, we don't want anything. And then you come back after you, like, fight the boss or just get insight or whatever, and you realize it's probably a different girl because she's like, ha, 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 please send me people. 
and you're like, what? Am I supposed to send you people? Well, if we go to her now, we can make our way to her clinic now. She will be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. And you have to fight her. And she acts just like a hunter. And she has tentacle arms. And she's tough. Um, however, if you fight a boss later in the game and then come back this way, she will be mm, not dead, but she, you won't have to fight her. So here's the question. Do you want to fight her? I don't think I've ever fought these guys before, to be completely honest with you. Um, I think it's probably not worth it, because, yeah, poison, you get really poisoned in this swamp. I'm trying to dodge, dude. 2711. You get 2711 and some twin bloods that I don't really need. Now, I wonder, um, <clears throat> in, in Dark Souls, you can throw or use poop on yourself and poison yourself. And the poison on yourself is actually less abrasive than the poison the poison oh what was that oh stupid worm don't die don't die don't die They all in the ground! Okay. I felt like that was a little bit of cheese because they were all in the ground. You saw me swinging, didn't you? They were all in the ground. So yeah, that place actually kind of sucks because of those worms. Um, they jump at you. Uh, I guess you could maybe use a gun on them, but I, I don't know. That's nonsense because I was swinging on them. They were just in, they were clipping into the ground. But I did t kill two of those big guys. But we don't have to go that way because we don't have to. What sucks is I've killed everything and now I haven't. Okay. Hey, don't worry about what I'm... Don't worry about what I'm doing. I almost went the wrong way. I don't think they walk over it. They don't even walk over it. There you go.
At least we're farming. Right. Is there anybody over here? I can't remember if I missed anybody or not. Probably somewhere, right? Oh my god, they're all out now. Odd that he was there. Wish I was just one little thing stronger. Jeez, man. <sighs> this is who we didn't fight last time. Saw me. Wait a minute. You know what? Probably not worth it. Let's just go get our uh, vials back. Probably not worth it because if I die, I kill that thing and I die, I just wasted two poison knives for no reason. Stupid worms, man. You go through the whole level killing dogs and men and beasts and giants and then you get eaten alive by these stupid worms. What nonsense is that? My question is, is my souls over there? My blood echoes? Are they in the eyes of some nonsense? Here we go. Alright. Tell you what, the poison um, sucks. The poison sucks. There is something somewhere in this area that is, I guess, maybe worth it for some. Wow. How are the worms now the bane of my existence? The worms are like the strongest thing in this whole game, dude. Alright, well, we're gonna have to get poisoned here for a second because I'm gonna look around. Nothing here. Let's get this. Pay attention to the health. Pay attention to the health. Let's 
feel, just to be sure. There's a ladder up there, and that's the way to leave. Um, hello, worms. Worms, there is an area where the worms just, they, uh, they brutalize you. Oh, there's, get to it, get to them, did nothing. I say, is there more worms? Hey, big guy, I don't want to be messing with you. I want these worms. Oh god, oh gosh, no, mommy, what? Come on, please. Alright, dude. I got you. I got your number. What? Excuse me. He can leap very far, apparently. <laughs> I blew my skirt up. Alright, so all of this is not worth it. <laughs> no wonder every time I play this game, I just run through this area. I don't think there's anything in here that is telling me. I think these triangle gems are a load of malarkey. Um, malarkey meaning bullshit. Uh, I don't think they're worth it. The way that they can just... Is there more? Or did that one just die? The way that they can just, um... Uh, hide in the ground. <laughs> what is this, a giant? Is this notorious this too? Alright, now, there is a cave. It looks like I've gotten that treasure already. There we go. There's a cave with just a thousand of these things in it. Um, Come on, can I hit any of them? By the way, I'm not trying to um, hit kill them with the rock, by the way. I'm trying to just get where there's not... You know, maybe there's like one or two at a time. Watch your health. If you throw a rock, it might stun it enough for you to go. Enough. Alright, so what is all back here? Arcane Blood Gemstone. <sighs> attack up. Arcane attack up 10. Okay. Dirty, rapid, add rapid poison effect on your weapon. Attack up, attack up. 
Okay, so I don't know what the triangle one's going to, though, to be honest with you. Well, at least I suffered so you would know. You don't have to come back here. <laughs> Bunch of nonsense. Here's the question. Do you want to fight the other, the one last big guy, since we're down here? Where can I do it where he um, will die easily? Look at that stride. Come on, stamina. If you hit his legs, it works way better than hitting his body, apparently. <clears throat> All this for a place I didn't even really want to go. I know that cave. I've been I've been killing that cave uh, before and have been like, you know what? I'm not even coming down here. It's not worth it. So, a bunch of arcane gemstones, bloodstones, or whatever. And then we have a giant ladder. Look at all these dead uh, whatevers. Dead, dead whatevers? Hmm. Dead skeletons. I think I got a lot of souls, though, to be chonious with you. And this uh, two-hour video of Through the Woods is now taking four. What a thrill. The darkness. And the silence. And the night. What a thrill. Sometimes you dine on a tree from. Okay. Hmm. Does anybody recognize where we're at? Dun 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 dun. Here it is, the very, very beginning of the game. The werewolf. The first lantern. That gate was shut. We just went all the way up to open it. How cool is that? Oh, hello. You made it. Find any survivors? Or only beasts? Tell anyone who's here. I will take there in your house. So she's still there, but if you come up to, if you approach her from the back side, she might just be like, ah, 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 and start screaming. Um, so I don't want to go through there. Um, I just was showing you the way. Let's go ahead and head on back. We got a ton of um, stuff from that little venture. Might as well just enjoy. Uh, what we obtained. Welcome. What is it you desire? Excuse me. I wonder if she puts the Very thing well, in her hair. Least... Do you want to raise your vitality up a little bit? Maybe get it to 25, 30? It's at 50 now. Yeah, sure. have anything worth anything to sell, huh? I wonder if you sell these things, do they give you as many as they would when you use them? Does that make sense? I'm gonna sell the bone, because I don't really need it. And or want it. And or have ever used it.
I don't have any chunks. I do have shards. I do have shards to make the torch stronger. Do you want to make the torch stronger? Uh, no, let's save them, because there is another weapon that I like using every once in a while. Let's look at this. No, 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 nothing. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. Yeah, see, all of that for the triangle ones? I don't even know how to use the triangle ones. Stupid. Max files, more blood. Physical, oh, we already have that one on. Echoes from slain enemies. Ooh, more echoes from slain enemies. What do I have on? I have more blood echoes from visceral attacks. Max bullets and physical damage. Uh, okay. I'm good. All right. I don't think we've gotten any more uh, anything else. So I think it's here. Forbidden Woods. The thing is, I wonder if I fall into that pit. If I fall into that pit. Will those guys throw stuff at me? Because now this will be the third time you have to watch me kill everybody again. Which I know is, is boring. You son of a bitch. I knew. I was like, I'll just skip this guy. I did. I killed him to get my um, fall damage back up. I'm going to say he's chasing I, re I recovered all that health from him. Um, hitting me. Which was nice. I'm dead. Again. Oh, I didn't have enough time for that guy to walk over there. I was like, I don't remember this beast dude being right there. I'm gonna say, at least kill him. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out, but hey, I get more vials from it. I didn't give enough time for that beast to walk over there. That's what the problem was. Alright, I want to say there's a bunch of... Antidotes. So there's nothing down here but antidotes and a trap. Okay. We learned. Anybody else want to play?
Oh, shoot. I shot him, and he... Got shot, barely. Barely, I say, under the... I used to, like, way try to sneak up on the bagman and, like, get a visceral on his back, but I'm telling you guys, the poison knives, so much easier. So much easier. That pulls you in. That stumbles you. If you stay close to him, I wonder, does he, um... I gotta be careful, too, because I don't quite, yeah, I don't know what's behind me. I guess I could have shot him right then and there. Woo! If I stay close to him, I wonder if he'll power up, is what I was trying to say a half of a second ago. Like, right now, he's all powered up. He doesn't care about the trees. He doesn't care about the trees. Does he have a leash? Okay, there's his leash. He's not programmed to go any farther. I was wrong! <laughs> Die! Oh, what? He didn't drop anything. Maybe because he was too far out from his where he should have been, his kill zone. That make any sense. Alright, in this house. Ooh, a beast roar. What is that? That looks interesting. It's not a weapon. One of the forbidden hunter tools made by Irreverent Izzy. Borrow the strength of the terrible undead dark beast. If for only for... Uh moment to blast surrounding foes back with the force of a roaring beast hmm. so you just roar it's like a war cry almost uh, that's cool there's so many things that you're like that would be cool and then you, you never use them <laughs> you never use them all right let's leave it on antidote and let's see here now, this is the way we kind of are supposed to go. Let's get this guy to come on up for us. Come on. I know you want to. I'm going to say, what is the difference between he's about to attack and he is attacking that makes him not get attacked? Alright, now, be mindful because we have a guy there that is like, hey, come attack me. But there is a guy right there ready to probably shoot at us. I think this whole bridge is just them, yeah, like, okay, this, well, be careful, down here, see he's throwing fire, this whole little river is oil, actually, or some sort of oiled style stuff. Put a maggot hole right in your belly. If you ever. Um, if you were to run under this bridge and try to get to where you need to be going, that one dude will throw oil in the hole. I don't think the whole thing lights up, but man, it definitely. Um, it definitely hurts. So I typically try to come this way and get everything that we can they even kind of give you a hint like hey come this way and then you can drop down and get this item and look at all these cocktails so let's do this um, 
down, 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 down. There, none on my bar. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Back up, because you don't want to step off when you throw it. See? See all the fire dust? Um, there's definitely more somewhere, and I can't, for the life of me, I guess, see them. Oh, he's right there. Um, easy enough. Will it reach? thing is swinging downward see this is um if you didn't know this is where that pit was right here so you can run past the pit and run right in here and if you're fast enough you won't get hit by um see it's not poison you're not getting poison let's make it easy on ourselves you're not getting poison but it's like a like a oil like an oil little river oh there's one more no, I didn't need that. Damn you. Alright, now, this is a really kind of fun area. Let's kill this thing first. I used to try to get real close to them, but then I realized I have a long weapon, and it's easier. Sometimes he likes to fall through the world. Yep. He always, always does that. Um, this area is pretty cool because, oh, wait a minute. Twin bloodstone shard, twin bloodstone shard, and hey, remember that house that had that weird gate in it? This is a shortcut. So, from the bonfire, the lamp, I could run, fall down, go around this house, and then come right here. This area is full of marksmen, so everywhere you go, each little house, there's going to be people shooting at us. However, there's another surprise at the very end as well. We're going to go up here and go ahead and take out this guy. So yo -so. I'm sorry, dude. That's where we killed the beast. Um, I'm shocked he didn't run up here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, when he when he like uh repels from you breaking his shield, you really should. Um, all right. So if we look, oh, God, I don't want to get shot, but I'll look. That there, there, is a cannon. That there, there's a cannon, boys. So that's a cannon. So as you're making your way downtown, investigating all these houses, that cannon is just, ba 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 spitting at you. That's how they sound. Ba ba ba. Uh, I'm going to bum rush it. Hey, knock it off. Now, what would be awesome, in Call of Duty style, I guess, I haven't played Call of Duty in so long, is if you could use the cannon to aim and kill things. I don't think anybody else, um... Oh, hey. I don't think anybody else gets on the cannon, so we don't have to worry about, like, somebody else taking up the... Uh, area of it, mantle of it, mantle area. All right, watch your sides. We got a guy sleeping here. We got a guy sleeping here. I want to say 
one of these houses you can break the side open and if you don't know you can bum rush the um, cannon you can this looks like a trap nope oh, that's for sure there's two people in here uh, if you don't want to bum rush the cannon, then, oh, it's this house right here. That house and that house are connected. So if you make it through the first house area, which was this right here, you can kind of run into this one. Check the sides, check the sides. Yeah, it's connected. That spit you out pretty close. You just gotta go zip, and he's right there. Okay, we see, pay attention, there's a light up there. It always shows you kind of where treasure is if you're not paying attention. And can we go down? No, we can go around. The treasure there. All right, this is where we start to get real creepy. Real, real creepy and real scary. I'm sorry. That guy right there. He's some of the scariest stuff in the game. And what we want to do is, before we go any type of exploring... How are you going to miss? How are you going to fall? Get to him, get to him. So his head explodes and he turns into a giant snake monster man and it's too scary to deal with. I don't like, I, I'm not afraid of snakes, but I don't, they're so, that, that enemy is very, very challenging. And any type of like body dysmorphia, people exploding and stuff, cutting their eyes out, I'm, I'm never been a fan of. Like Event Horizon, have you ever seen that movie? I love Sam Neill. And I love, like, Dead Space, and I tried to watch Event Horizon. It was one of the few horror movies where I was like, ah, oh, this is too much. This is too... Oh, no. Oh, this is, um... I thought this was the shortcut. It is the shortcut, but it's you gotta go further down to unlock it. Ugh. Ugh. Um... Damn it. Well, before we go up, because we can go up and traverse all this rooftop stuff, let's go a little further. Further, farther. Make sure there's nothing here. And I think we do have... Oh, he already busted open. No! Okay, I have to remember that those guys are, are actually pretty easy to visceral because I think the snake heads, when the snake head moves, you can uh, shoot, just shoot them, just shoot them a whole bunch and get the visceral off on them. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is another uh, good shortcut right here. Remember we saw the treasure, not on top of the barn, but on top of this ridge? Yeah, we were right there. That's the top of that barn. It goes, oh, it's open meal. This was the treasure. Okay. So at least we're going to unlock a really good shortcut. Is the dude here? He is. Okay. Before we talk to him, let's go ahead and open this and show you where it leads. Hey, check it out. Oh, be careful. The damn crow right at the end of the shortcut. Alright. It's this lamp right here at the very beginning. There's the bridge. This is the, the thing. So this, this leads to a shortcut that leads to an even better shortcut. And we have this guy. This guy... 
only came about when the DLC came around. So my question is, do you want to talk to them now, or do you want to wait and come back with the DLC? Um, I'm going to let you decide on that. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Give me a second. It's close to midnight. Let's talk to him. Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volta, master of the League. Volta. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs and mad doctors? Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? So he's basically a covenant, right? You, there's In Dark Souls, there's all these covenants you could join. And they give you different benefits. You can earn different weapons from them. Um, we're going to go ahead and join them because I don't think we've run across any other covenant so far. He might be the only one in the game. Uh, no, there's another one. Yes, as a hunter, well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. Oh, wow. Impurity. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just I'll think, you. now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt I will. In cooperation with your fellows, your yeah. league confederates. Cooperation. <laughs> now, there is one thing you must know. By the oath of the league, those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin. Are to be crushed. The League exists to expunge all vermin, ridding us of any trace of human corruption. And so, until we are rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work, but remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing, and each other. Always. Hmm. The League exists, and so this do not end. So I want to say, when you kill beasts, I guess it's maybe certain beasts, um, we get our first one. Boost max HP during co-op. Um, 
when you kill certain beast, a little worm will pop out, or you'll gain a worm, or you have to kill a worm. <laughs> um, remember, kids, send the ladder back up, or the elevator back up. Um, when you kill... Uh, God, it's so shrill. When you kill a uh, beast, certain worms or something will come out of them, or you'll obtain them. Oh, I think it's mostly in the DLC, maybe? I don't know. You bring those worms back and give them to him and you'll get stuff. So, there you go. That's not a ladder. I was like, huh? I just went around to the opening. So, okay. So let's go this way. There was another opening somewhere. It's very windy. Very well hidden. Very well hidden. What is that building? <gasps> Bergenworth. Whoa. Oh man. I love it because you can see everything. You can see everything in Souls games. Typically what you can see you can go to. And it's there. It's hidden in plain sight. Like, look, I can see fires from where I need to go. Make your way through the forest. Wasn't it like go through a forbidden forest, forbidden woods, to reach Bergenworth? That looks like a school. It doesn't look like a church. Look, observatory up at the top. All right, here's a little bit of platforming for you. There's one, something down there. There's something way over there. Uh, let's do this. Do this and this and this and this and this. Hey, more poison knives. Now, the reason they give you poison knives is because we're about to meet somebody, spoilers, who is essentially a boss. He's definitely a boss in the dungeons the, like that you can make. And the only way I've ever killed him when I was doing my platinum run is I used poison knives and ran from him as a boss. He's extremely difficult. And the guy here will just straight up turn into that. Now, let's check this dude out. We have a family. It looks like a woman and a man and a kid. What a fuck. Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank you, took me for a monster. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in me boots. And then you came along. Well, if you were a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? All right, here's where we're going to use a Sephstus clinic to our advantage. Well, this guy is a villain, clearly. He's killing all these people. He's eating the boy. Um, when he said put down the beast, I always assumed he meant that thing before the ladder. <sighs> I honestly think he's talking about himself. Because there's a beast on the loose. He transforms into it. It's a big, giant, bulking, werewolf-like beast that has electricity. Dark, I think it's called Dark Beast. Um, if you send him to the chapel, he will, scurv the wanderer, start killing everybody. And eventually you'll find him. Like I think the, the, the church lady is the last one left. 
and she's like, he's out to get us, and you'll find him, like, eating people. We don't want that to happen. We're gonna send him to the clinic. And she can deal with him. Oh, I'll be. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. Pungent blood cocktails. I wonder where he got those. Thank you. I can't very well stay out. So, look, look at what he's doing. Um, if you attack him, if you're like, how dare you? He will rip into that beast and uh, most likely he'll kill you. I had to stay in this hallway and shoot poison knives at him. Because um, I thought, I didn't realize he turned into that beast and he, me he messes everybody up. Messed me up, at least. Alright, so we got... Let's make sure that was the only item. This looks like the way to fall for this. Yep. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> the cannon? That's so stupid. Large prototype firearm fashioned by the workshop heretics of the powder kegs. Use the weapon equivalent to toting a mounted cannon. So basically you can walk around real slow, but BOW you fire. I think it does either five or ten um, bullets when you use it. Um, uh, something to use in PvP. PvP. Uh, to surprise people with. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's see. Is this where I want to go? Please don't die. Alright, so yes, we went outside. We did a bunch of poison knives. We got the cannon. Um, we found that guy. I forget his name. But yeah, most Dark Souls type games have a villain in them that usually will, hu will hunt down and kill all your NPCs. Alright, so... We have 30 some thousand and we have a shortcut. Do you want to go back and level up and then we can head on into the woods with a new outfit? I still feel like playing. So, um, we sent the thing up like an idiot. Who told you to send that up? It's close to me. No. What? We'll only have to deal with the, um, crow right here, if that. We'll only have to deal with the crow. And, um, the first snake guy, maybe. We might be able to sneak by the snake guy. Uh, 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 uh. Let me. Farewell, good hunter. May you find yourself in the waking world. So I want for this. Let's see. Nothing new, huh? Some enemies give you, um, a hard time with your weapon. Why not? I could run to that girl and get the white ribbon, but I don't want to do that. She changes the ribbon to white. I don't know what's taking forever. I don't even know. this. The dude that's supposed to be here... Um, 
He's still coughing up the storm. Alright, so maybe after a certain enemy, we'll find out. Alright, sorry guys. It's a bunch of loading. This is a bunch of loading. Um, that is one thing that I really like about, I guess it's Dark Souls 2 and 3. Maybe just in 3. Where you can warp not only, um... You don't have to go to the main place. You can warp between bonfires. Maybe you can do it in the third one, or the first one, after you get the kiln. I haven't played Dark Souls 1 in... Hmm, Has it been five years? Six years? I can't remember if I played it after my daughter was born or not. Just in case we have to come back and they're sitting there. Alright, so since it's a new area... I don't know. I'll do the same thing. I don't think this is stronger than than what we had, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. There's that snake guy. He's headed up to that hill. Let's just walk past him. Let's not even bother with him. Alright, let me sit up a little bit and pay attention because this whole area sucks. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and put my antidote on. Probably get rid of this. Remember, we do have forest blood. Alright, there's a way to run and run and run and run that way. Or we can go all the way down. I think there's a secret in here. There's one area that's really hard. It's not as fun. Alright, I remember the snakes being like, just be fast. Alright, be fast. Little piles of snakes. Doesn't that sound fun? Use your lock on quite a bit, just in case you miss some. There's one. murky alright there's one road and like two paths along the side side right one side and then the next so we kind of just gotta go up one path and then the next That's the middle. Always kind of be hitting your... Yeah, they give you shiny coins because this place is kind of confusing. Probably going to look confusing on camera because it already looks confusing on me, to me. I hear a beast somewhere. Snake. Now I'm like, where's the guy that I just saw? This is where we just kind of came from. This is where we just came from. Oh, there he is. Yikes. That bitch 
just got off a hit. Alright, we hear a beast, so I think we're going to backtrack. I don't think this white cloak does as well via poison as they said it did. <laughs> Let's go back, because we cleared out. I didn't want to fall and then be like, oh my god, there's snakes everywhere. There's snakes all over this game. Um, so we're just going to go up, and I guess you have to jump. Can we roll? Oh... Letting go of circle to jump is not my favorite. I, I think I I think I agree that the left stick jump is the best. However, I don't know anything, so. Is he asleep? So we heard him breathing, Gimli style, from a mile away. I should have healed. Right, we heard him breathing from a mile away. There's nothing on the back way. This is where we were, because this is where that snake bit us. Alright. We're not doing too terrible. Oh, here's more. This fight, this spot, this smite, this smite, this area might even be a good place to farm if you're brave enough. I'm gonna fight this one first. Just always, always know where your back is, always know kind of where your exit will be. We're getting away from. Oh, Getting away from not knowing what's on the other side. I usually like to clean out one side and then clean out the other. Alright, this is where that snake guy was. So, up here. Hope I hear another one. Right here. Come behind this big thing. Murky. Win. There's a place to jump down right there. Right man's knowledge. Oh, I hear and see something. I was not ready for it yet. Alright. Oh, can we cross there? Let's go back up to the other side. Oh, there is a log. Whee! <laughs> Why was that so fun to me? Alright. Um, we did all this right. We can't get to him because of that thing right there. Oh, do you see what I see? There's one right there. Can I get to him? Nope. Just shoot. My strategy for them is just shoot. Because they they're just gonna kill you, man. It's so I barely missed his grab. I I barely missed his grab and I was actually shot when it happened, so I'll, maybe I'll highlight that, because it, it, it looked awesome, and I'm awesome, I did it on purpose, thank you very much. 
I don't, I'm not sure you can sneak up on him. You might be able to, but uh, I was pretty far away, and I was walking, and he still just heard me. So, it might be something where the snake's heads always see you. Maybe because another enemy saw me. Alright, I think... Before I am. Um... We can try to go up. Alright. That wasn't too scary because we did kind of circle around. We might, just might have done really well in the game and be pretty overleveled as well. Clear deep sea. One of them gives you good stuff. Add slow poison resistance. That's what I should have had on. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I think we can jump down here. The problem is, oh, I wonder, hmm, let's try something that I've never tried before. I, are they beasts, is the question. No, they are not. <laughs> All right. That whole area down there is just death. Oh. Man, I ran all the way around. Did you even see that one? Okay. Or have I not been up here? Maybe this is where that the snake was down there. I didn't run up this way. Okay, I'm gonna say no, I've missed a lot. Or missed a few of them so far. I'm lost too. <laughs> Alright, let's head this way. That's, you run up there. Yeah, you run up there to the snake. I didn't go here. Okay. Um, Mom, oh, they're shooting poison at me. So many of them. All I hear is hissing. Come on, homie. Don't get caught. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. I'm so scared. Oh, the other one wasn't even popped yet. Great. Well, now there's two. Oh, come on.
At least they give you blood vials. Oh, that guy does. Good. Alright, this was a hard area because there's freaking three of them. And it's a chunk. What up? Worth it. Worth it. Shiny coin. Please don't fall in there. Some of them are getting killed by the fire. Alright, at least now the small ones... The small ones are gone. The small ones are gone. where I said we could fall down. I want to say there's somewhere we could jump to. Is it up top? Somewhere we can jump as well. There's like a little jump you gotta do. What? Were you in those bushes? Is it right here? Yes. Alright, remember when you hear the weird sounds. <laughs> Gotta be careful because on that little trail. I made a mistake and I fell. I just ran. <laughs> I said, I can't. I'm running. God damn, dude. There's so many of them. There's so many snakes. Whoa. What? Oh, there's a big one? Wow. That's not very nice. I'm going to have the little one come to me first. Two little ones come to me. I'm going to kill them real quick. Eh, uh, back up, back up. What you going to do now? How many poisons does he spit? Oh, one right in my face. They're not that hard. I, I always assumed that they could attack in every direction. They pretty much only attack forward. So if you can kind of be brave and get around them, it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. Oh, hey. This is a really good uh, shortcut. Jump down here. You got to fight a snake guy. This is a nice little shortcut. 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 Alright, we're not done just yet. We have still one snake to get after. What is happening? I ran in and couldn't, like, attack. It just wouldn't attack. Alright, well... The problem is... Oh, I don't know. 
That one sucked because he no you could only attack from the front. I couldn't get around him. But for some reason I was attacking and just couldn't. Deep sea. Didn't we just get deep sea? I don't know. I love looting though, so it doesn't matter. That's not what I want. Clear deep sea. Frenzy resist 200. Ooh, that might come in very handy. Okay. I'm... I'm gonna say we've cleared out pretty much everything we need to clear out. Um... Oh no, look at what he did. He whistled and made these things come out. Back up, back up, back up, just heal. Just heal. Don't be stupid. Not worth it to be stupid. The game is not the game is not made for you to be Devil May Cry and go in or God of War. It's it's Bloodborne. Fight him low and slow, just like cooking an egg. What? <laughs> Have I been down there? Oh yeah, that's where we had to do like some jumping or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and before I forget. Just jump across this little right here. Hopefully, I make it. Yeah, yeah. I remember I ran around and around and around looking for this. I think long ago when I was going to platinum. Grave guard mask. And see, the pig is still around us, so we know we're in the kind of the same area. Grave guard robe. Manchetas. Robe of Doris. Grave guard to the Forbidden Woods. Countless bloodied rituals tools hang from its back. Countless bloodied ritual tools hang from its back. Wilhelm kept two loyal servants back at Bergenworth. When they were sent to the labyrinth, they encountered the Eldritch Truth and went mad. One became the password keeper, or Doris became the graveyard of the forest. Both remained loyal even in madness. Whoa, I don't think I've ever known that. Man, holy fuck, it looks sick. That looks awesome. What is it good at? Oh shit, let's just take it off. It's good at nothing? It's good at nothing. That's a shame. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to go too far this way because it's kind of like a little spoilier area. But we also don't want to just jump down and hurt ourselves. We're kind of running out of health. Oh, there's a snake right there. Oh, there's a snake right here. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell what's what anymore. Somewhere there's a pig. Alright, so this is the way we're coming, this red light, orange light. Red light, orange light. Where's the pig and what is he doing? Who is your father and what does he do? My question is, does the pig move or does he just stand right there? Wow, that's a strong pig. This grave robber robe thing looks really awesome.
All right, before we get too far, let's double back. Oh God. Um, be really quick. I was gonna say. Don't be stupid. <laughs> we can be quick, but we don't have to be stupid. Oh, look at the frames. That's a shame. Really bad frames when all the snakes come out. Back up. Alright. Now, when I said let's don't be stupid, that was probably stupid. Um... Because I want to go, I think going down here, oh my god, dude, how many snakes are there snakes to be snakes? <laughs> so many. Uh, I think you fall, yeah, you can fall from there onto him. Which, I don't know why you would want to, but... Alright, let's go up into this little thicket. I hear another pig. Well, if that... Is that where I threw the pungent blood cocktail? And, um, the thing didn't come out, or was that somewhere else? I've never even been up here. Frenzy cold blood. This is where I guess you could fall. It's so, uh, hats off to the environment artist of this, this area, because... <laughs> It's a lot. So you can fall down there and fight that guy. And then that's a shortcut. We don't want to do that because there's a way better shortcut? I don't know. I don't know anything now. So This is where that pig was. Let's just double make sure there's nothing over here that's worth anything. This is the... Oh, this is that tree branch that leads to the grave robber robes. And we can go back in that way, but let's wait, because that's something else. Now, somehow, or way, we can go down a little bit? Somehow, or way, we can go down a little bit. Somehow, or way, we can go down a little bit. Is this where I just said, let's not go? Yes. Am I going backwards? I think I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> God. I got turned around. I think. I don't know. I don't know anything. I can't see what's happening. I found some area that I haven't been before. Oh, that was at least worthwhile. I came down here on purpose. Hey look, that thing's in the way. Alright, um... Where's the pig? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go all the way to the beginning and just circle back around. Keep coming here. I don't want to. I've never like been like, hey, let's jump down there. Somewhere you could go. You could go down. There's the pig right there. And then you go to the right. Oh, okay. Is this where I was going? I got turned around. A little cavern in there. Let's just right wall strats. Killed everything in here. Yes. Right wall strats. 
Okay, we weren't going the wrong way. God, I'm so losing my mind. Okay, yes. This is where we want to go. This is not where we want to go. You can go down or you can go up? Question mark? Down into like the little pit down there is kind of what we want to do. There's the second pig. He walks down there. I think there's a third pig as well. These are pigs everywhere. This is where we want to be where the, like, the fireflies are. But we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way and up. I think we have to fight one more snake guy. Yeah, he's right here. Ooh, he was like wiggling his arm really quick. Wiggling his arm really gross. And then here is the really good shortcut. This is the shortcut that you can take from the beginning, basically all the way down. This leads back into that barn where the first snake guy was. Right, this creepy scary barn. Which he's still alive because we came back, yep. So you can um, start through that bridge, run the elevator down, run through here to here, and then get there. I've always assumed this was the best shortcut, but now I'm thinking the other one is. The one that I've found um, that I've never, ever really used. Let's go ahead and send it back up. Make sure there's nothing on the descend that we missed. All right, uh, I'm about done <laughs> with this whole area. My least favorite in the game, just because of this, this, it's so creepy and so massive and just a lot. And I think I missed another area. This is the way up, right? There was no way to the right. Was there? Yes, there is. Okay. Now we get our first taste of the Celestials, right? A little alien guy. A little alien guy. Hanging out with the madman's knowledge. Alright, I think there's a little... God. Gotta be careful because some of them do... Oh, shoot. Some of them do shoot nonsense at you. Oh my god, I missed him, and he scared me. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Don't you mean counterclockwise? Is that just a weird way to say that? Be brave. When they spit out their little tendrils of this, like, pop on a giant white head. Um, anti- boost maximum stamina. Not bad. I don't remember what the triangle ones go into. I'm always leery when it's just one standing there. It's like made for you to get ambushed. This is where I think you can jump down on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this is where we saw him earlier. Oh god. He was running at me. He was looking at me. Yeah, I think you could fall down and down. 
I think the whole purpose of this is if you get accidentally knocked off. Like, this is the area I think you jump over to get the, what's it called? If you fall, and you have to make your way through here. Because there's no real reason to come through here. And I don't, why are they here? What's close by that these creatures would be here? The school? The Bergenworth? They're not, they're not enemies of Bergenworth. Kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know that far into the lore. Alright. I see something that I missed, it looks like. Or maybe just never knew existed. Now I'm wondering if... Now I'm wondering if... That way, that, that, that other way... If you can only get to it inside that cage. Like, do I need to fall into that cage to be able to get in there? And if that's the case, we're going to have to do a little bit of backtracking. Which I guess this whole episode's been nothing but backtracking. There was a pig, and there was a river. The river just let down. Um, here comes the pig. Oh, I was like, please reach him. They explode mightily. Alright, you can go into here to try to get away from the pig. But there are these guys. Is he dead? Oh god. Is anybody else alive in here? It's so hard because you can't see nothing. Something like, I'll we'll have to check all that stuff later. You don't have to go into there. As if you're scared of the pig, you can kind of run around. Um, there is one more pig. There's a couple more of these guys. Yeah. Like, my character does not like to attack downward. If you're slick about it, you can get the pig to kill himself in the, um... fire, but you don't have to necessarily do all that. Look at all his eyeballs on his back and his face. Ugh. Oh, he knows I'm here. What are you going to do? ready to fight you in a corner. Oh, I missed that guy. Hey, that looks like a ball serena. Alright, I'll never forget <clears throat> playing this area <laughs> in the beginning and just being like, my god, is this place over yet? I'm so done with this whole area. Please get me out of here. And just being lost. See, I, I don't even know if you can. Can you go into this way? I bet you you can't. Oh. Well. If you fall into there, does it trap you in? Just shoot. 
shoot your guns. The problem is with shooting your guns is I kind of needed them for the boss that's coming up. And unfortunately, I don't have many left. What does this do? Lead me to what? Nothing? It led me to nothing. I don't know. What's happening, Miyazaki? Miyazaki, what's happening? Clockwise. Morphosis. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis? Boost max HP. Stamina and HP. Alright, I don't need poison, I don't think. Let's go ahead and I'll do health. And... Oh, I don't have any stupid... Um, fire paper. Let's go buy some fire paper. Um, we're at the boss. I would gladly fight him, but I probably am going to die because this boss is a little tricky. We now have a lot of good shortcuts, and we can run all the way back. I know, it sucks, but we'll get our full guns. We won't touch anybody. We'll just run. Oh, this is it. Let's not go too far. <laughs> Let's not go too far. Um, yeah, right? That was it. Okay, so we kind of went everywhere. <sighs> that one creepy mask. Um, We'll buy fire paper, and then we'll fight the boss, and then we'll be done for the night. Ugh. I want to go back to the hunter's dream, man. It's nonsense if you do that. I probably, do you want to use the charred, I need fire resistance for this boss, right? This thing actually looks really cool, I've never used it before, actually, man, it looks awesome. <laughs> That's terrifying. Hey guys. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me see. What do we want? We have more blood echoes from visceral attacks. Max bullets up. Physical damage reduction. So let's get rid of blood echoes from viscerals and look at bolt damage. We don't need that. Frenzy, poison. <laughs> it's not a lot that's worth it. Physical damage reduction plus three. Oh, we already have that. Slow poison. HP plus five percent. Let's do the stamina. Bullets. We'll have more bullets and the damage reduction, and then we don't really need that. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
nothing. Oh. Charge attacks up 4%. Add slow poison effect. Oh, wait a minute. Physical attack up 5 point. Yeah, that's worth it. Charge attack up barely anything. Yeah, we'll go here. And that adds fire. Um, I'm not going to do... I'll use the paper, but I won't d change my whole weapon to that. Still nothing. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and do paper. Two cocktails, that's it. Two paper, that's it. I love that there's no, um... God, what a great costume. <laughs> For some reason. Let's do the charred. Charred. Was there not a... Hunter Garb has really good fire defense, right? We're about to fight some fire boys. What hat do you want to use? Uh, kind of works. It had the highest fire. Wow, man. It's sitting on my own ass. Um, wait a minute. Is that the all, all the bullets I have? I only have nine bullets? Am I going to have to buy a ton of bullets? Are you joking? I got enough. Oh god, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. Oh, Alright, Forbidden Woods. We're gonna go into the house, down the elevator, run through the sewers. Hopefully, we don't get hit on the way. Don't use any bullets on the way. If we get hit on the way, we can just maybe um kill a pig. Might have to kill a pig to run by it. Where's my sonic shoes? Alright, let's go on into here. I feel like I'm Batman with a skateboard. I'm just gonna run into the woods when I realized that was a mistake. Good thing we sent those um, elevators back up. Now, I wanna say you can be sneaky and, and just jump down the hill here. But I'm not trying to take any damage. Here's a pig. Let's just follow the pig. Careful, because the pig will charge. I hear him coming. Get your stamina back, get your stamina back, get your stamina back. Run. No, 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 no. Am I making a Vine video? Oh, 
Now, listen to me. All that woods. All that woods, and we just skipped it, right? We just skipped all that woods. Okay. <sighs> Time for some fire, boys. I think conventional wisdom is to take out the one that throws the fire first. And then there's a way to get the real jumpy boy by doing something like attack, pause, attack, pause, attack, pause. All right, I don't know. My heart's already nervous. This guy right here. Oh. Guess you're all here saving my life right now, bro. Oh god, what have we done? Oh god, what? That seems just automatically not there. That's one down. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Ooh. Oh, yeah. God, it feels good to just demolish them. <sighs> oh, my heart is thudding. The problem is, yeah, the problem is they will transform. Like, they got all the snakes on them. But if you, like, let them go too long at mid-health, They'll start shooting giant snakes up out of the ground, and it sucks. Um, with the real fast boy that has just the sword, there's a way to, like... Because when you hit him, he dodges. So it ha you have to kind of, like, hit him, pause, hit him, pause, hit him, pause. Because if you just do this, what I was kind of doing, um, he'll get away from you. But I've always felt that if you try to kill the one that has the sword and the candle first it's a little easier because the the guy with just the sword is easy to visceral he's so attacky he got me with the sword with the with the stupid um snake attack and it was scary but um yeah i couldn't have asked for it to be better oh man my heart is pounding god i love this game i love this game whoo All right, I think that does it for us today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Damn, I feel like a badass. <laughs> uh, up next is Bergenworth. Peace out, you guys.